What we have here today is we are looking at a study that's evaluating population of soybeans, a planet, and the row width, and a combination of herbicides to see which is going to give us the most effective system to help us control uh, Palmer pigweed in particular. And some of the things you can see here is uh, what we have here to my left is, is soybeans planted in, in seven and a half inch rows uh, at 76,000 population. And you can see we got a lot of light hitting the ground because the population is very low. Ideally, what you would like this time of year when the soybeans are now at, at R1 just starting to bloom is for very little light to be hitting the ground, for the soybeans to be basically intercepting all the available sunlight. Um, there's been a number of studies done looking at the effect of sunlight and light in particular on the germination of weeds, particularly pigweeds. And what they found is you're going to see an enhanced germination, particularly of pigweeds, under strong light. So if you can get the ground shaded quickly, it's going to help you greatly on weed control, particularly with glyphosate resistant Palmer pigweed. So what we have here is, is uh, again, 15 inch rows, 76,000 population compared to the same row width. Here we don't have any herbicide. There we had a pre-emergence herbicide. But here we have uh, the same row width, but this time we're up to 200,000 population. And you can see a drastic difference as far as how much sunlight is hitting the ground. And because of that, uh, once the herbicide wears off in these fields, which is going to happen in another week or so, we're going to have complete shade here, and it's really going to curtail any more pigweed coming up, as opposed to the thinner stand over here, uh, where, where we're not going to we're going to have light hitting the ground and more pigweed coming up. Now, on a year like 2013, the spring of that we're looking at here, uh, we've got a lot of thin stands, and sometimes we got to leave live with a thinner stand than what we'd like, and because of that, you know. Sure, you can, you can probably make the same yield, but you're going to have to think a little bit more about weed control and maybe uh, another an additional herbicide application over and above where you'd need to be if you had an ideal stand uh, that we're looking at here. So we compare these to 30 inch or wide rows and we'll move down there. Okay, we've moved down now to the, to the 30 inch row wide row soybeans and here we're looking at again three different populations, but in particular I'm going to point to the uh, to the less population, to the 76,000 population, and we have um, just a, a, a pre-emergence herbicide put on here, and you can see it started to break, and it had the same herbicide as we just walked through with the narrow row soybeans, but you'll notice uh, in those narrow row soybeans we have less pigweed coming up than we do in these wide row soybeans, and that's just an artifact of more light hitting the ground and pigweed being able to take advantage of that, and, and it's causing them to germinate at a little higher rate than you than you typically see in a narrow row format. But you know we can even bump the population up um, from where we are here, roughly 76,000, uh, over to a higher population um, in here, and uh, and it really doesn't affect much because we are in these narrow rows, or we're in these 30 inch rows. Uh, we're still having light hit the ground. So you don't get the value of the higher population in these 30 inch row width, or if you went to even a wider row width, like say a 38, uh, than you would if you went to a 15 or a seven and a half row width. So this is really a cultural practice uh, that we can, we can put into our system to help us manage weeds uh, that maybe we haven't thought about so much in, in, the, in the past. Uh, but being able to get early canopy, shade the ground, will greatly help us uh, control weeds.